Okay, we're going to make a simple scrolling site in Adobe Creative Cloud Muse CC 2015. I'm going to start at the welcome screen by just creating a new site. And it's going to default to be desktop with a page width of 960. We're going to go ahead and make this, we want it to be very long, so we're going to type in 3000. Everything else should be fine, so say OK. And when we get to our main site architecture, we're going to go ahead and go into the master page. And remember, you can always scroll out to see everything by alternate and then scrolling your mouse downward. And you can see that this is a long site. So let's scroll back in. OK, the first thing we want to do is I'm just going to draw three boxes to split off the screen. So the first one I want to fill about one-third of the screen with that. And I'm going to go ahead and fill that with red. Okay, that looks good. Go down a little bit more. And we're going to make another box. This one I'm going to fill in with green. And one more box. This one I'm going to fill in with blue. Go back to our selection tool, and if we alternate scroll out, we can see that's pretty good. Let's make them a little bit more even. Make the red just a little bit smaller so that they're all about the same, filling about a third. That looks pretty good. So you can see we've got the red region, the green region, and the blue region. Okay, so let's alternate scroll kind of get back to where we want. Okay, and at the top we have a white header region. Now I normally don't use layers, but I am going to click on layers. I'm just not a huge layers person in this particular program. But so far everything we've done has been in this main layer. So I'm going to click on that layer, right click and say rename, and I'm going to name that body. I'm going to make a new layer, and this one I'm going to rename header. Now the reason I'm doing this is I want to put all my header information in one layer so that then I can lock that layer all together. So within the header layer, I'm going to make a separate box. And I'm going to go ahead and make that white. Now you don't want it to be filled with nothing. You want it to be filled with white. OK, that looks good. And in there, I'm going to type some text. So I'm going to make a small text box and type the word red. You can highlight that text and go ahead and make it a little bit bigger. I'm going to make it bold. And if we click on the word text, we can see different situations for this. I want to align it with the center. Let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. Okay, so now that we have that, I want to make uh, some duplicates of it. The easiest way to do that is hold down your alternate button and drag. So now we have the exact same button again. This one I'm going to call, what do you think, green. And let's do that one more time and call that one blue. Now, they don't they're not kind of even, so if we select them all by shift click all three of them, we can go here to the align area, click on align, and let's distribute them their horizontal centers. That looks pretty good. And yeah, in fact, no, that looks pretty good. So it's distributed them out so that they're all nice and even. Okay. So you can see if we open up over here in the letter layers that we have all of our header information within the header layer and we have all of our body information in the body layer. So we've got the basic site ready to go. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is create some anchors. So I'm going to go ahead and anchor the red and I want to put it right where the red starts. Looks pretty good. So let's call this red. OK, I'm going to do another one. And uh, it's best, it was hard to do it with the red one. Let's zoom in. But you want to put it right above where it starts. So I'm going to put it right 
there. We'll call this one green. And let me zoom in on it. You can see it actually would be better if we can move it down just a tad so it's exactly even. That'll be better. And let's do one more for blue. And if we zoom in, we can see I don't have this one exactly right, so let's put it right above. That's fine. Okay, so we've got our three anchor points. So what do you think is going to happen now? Red, we're going to click on the red button, and we're going to hyperlink it to our first red link. Very good. We're going to click on the green button and hyperlink that to green. And we're going to click on blue and hyperlink that to blue. So let's go ahead and preview this in a browser. Okay, when we click on red, we move up to red. When we click on green, we move down to green. And when we click on blue, we move to blue. Now I see a couple problems here. One is I didn't see I have this little white line between the two. And another thing is, I don't like having to scroll back up to get to my menu navigation. So let's go fix those two things. I'm going to go back to Muse. Um, and let's fix this. I'm just going to move that button up just a little bit. There we go. So I want them all to not move. So I'm going to go back over into my Layers panel. And I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to double click right here in Layers to make sure that everything is highlighted within the header. And I'm going to go up here to pen and pen that entire layer to the top. So let's see the difference. File, preview site. When I click on red, you can't really see, but it is moving. When I click on green, it goes to green. When I click on blue, it goes to blue. Let's go back to red and you'll see it. Yay. Okay, so that's the basic navigation. Let's go back to Muse. And we haven't saved this yet, so I'm going to file, save the site as scroll 2016. So let's add a little bit more excitement. I'm going to go ahead and place a cloud, a picture that I found off the internet, cut it out in Photoshop, and saved it as a PNG, so now its transparency is still there. I'm going to go ahead and place that into our site. You can see a little thumbnail of what's going to happen. Close layers. I'm going to put this in the green layer. Okay, now it's a little big, so let's go ahead and make it a tiny bit smaller so that it fits within the green. That looks pretty good. And I actually would like two of these clouds, so I'm going to alternate and drag to create a second cloud, so now I have two clouds. What I would like to happen is while this goes on, I would love for these to move across the screen. So I'm going to alternate and scroll out a little bit so I can see. Okay, so for this, I need to go to the scrolling effects, scroll effects. So, very quickly, um, motion and opacity are the main things that people want to deal with. So let's deal with motion. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the one to the left and click on motion. And what's happening is, you see this little slider right here. What it's saying is I don't want anything to happen really until I get to that slider. So I'm going to move the slider to about halfway up the red screen. So what it's going to say is, it's, it wants one thing to happen until it gets to here. After it gets to here, it's going to do something different. So, before it gets to here, what do we want it to do? Well, that's the initial motion. Well, I, do I want it to move up and down, or do I want it to move side to side? Well, I don't want it to move side to side right now. In fact, I would just like for it to scroll along with everything else until it gets to this. So we're going to do it at one speed meaning it's going to move at the same amount of time as everybody else. In fact, let me move it over here and show you what that looks like. Preview the site. Okay, so I'm scrolling down and we can't see it yet. There it is. It's scrolling right around with everybody else, going at one speed. Okay, so I'm going to put it back. So it's going to go to one speed until it hits right here. When it hits right here, we're going to do the final motion. Now, I want it to continue to keep scrolling even after it hits this as far as up and down goes. But now I want to add 
that it's going to go to the side. And I want that to go at about 1.5. I think that worked the last time I tried this. So let's see what happens now. Let's preview this. All right, we're scrolling down. And you can see it's moving around. That's a pretty good speed. All right. And then I'm going to duplicate this over on the other side. Except for this one needs to go the other direction. Oops, sorry. Control Z for undo. I need to turn on scrolling is the problem. Once I turn on scrolling, then I get my little situation. That's about where we were. So same thing. I want a 1. Nothing to happen side to side. Then when it gets to its point, it needs to continue to move at 1. But this time it's going to go left 1.5. Oh, well. Okay, so that's how you make a simple scrolling site in Adobe Muse.